we were all going on vacation, but it was in the middle of an acid lake. I had this dream where it was my neighbor's house, but it definitely wasn't my neighbor's house. Dinosaurs were taking over the world. I was a vampire slayer, like Buffy. I had to give a speech about African American rights and like institutional racism. And all of a sudden, um, I look out the window and I see this little, little girl. She must be like about four. I kept crying every time she turned around because I knew she was gone. But suddenly I know, and I'm like, oh my god, I have to go up that elevator. And then these two elevators, I was like, I have to go up that elevator. We think this is pretty cool. It was like I was watching an episode of The Bachelorette. We see these two people working there, and they're dressed as stormtroopers. It's just, it's all men, and we're all just like milling around like, okay, cool, like what do we do? We don't, we don't know where we are or why we're here. And all these women come in and start screaming at me and I'm not able to escape um, because it's around me on all sides. And suddenly I come to the strange and sudden realization that... I'm some sort of ninja and I can shapeshift <laughs> into a spirit tiger and dive through a window. Like I try to be really, really still, but somehow the guy would always realize that I was awake and he'd just like turn around and tell me to be quiet. And then I started swinging an axe at him to try and kill him. And then he continued to get smaller every time I swung at him and missed. So I started like punching and kicking the rocks and stuff, but it hurt a lot because I was like punching a rock and my hands started bleeding. It wasn't bloody, it was just, it was a clean wound. It was just like it had been amputated and healed over. I was at home, I was at my grandparents' house. Like, I just magically ended up in all these places and I had like all my friends with me. And it was horrifying absolutely horrifying i ran out of my dad's house in oakland with my little brother because we were being chased by a kidnapper and we ran outside it was all very confusing and odd <laughs> but then like my body isn't responding as well my vision's going dark i'm not moving correctly physics have obviously been replaced by different physics and and it just gets hard i noticed that my little sister hadn't come up for air in a long time but then my brother, Eleanor, put her hand in, and then when her hand, when she pulled her arm back out, she didn't have a hand. And then he had amnesia, and he didn't remember me at all. He remembered his parents a little bit, like he remembered who he was, but he didn't remember me at all. And I, was, I kept bringing up all this other stuff that we had done together, and she didn't remember any of it. Feeling the feeling of my brother being dead, and that's the worst feeling I've ever felt in my life. I woke up not knowing if it was true or not. 